Oops. Hello. Resume. Yeah, I feel like I didn't really learn any more information there. Okay, so my, my priority for doing this is going to be companion quest, main quest, and then we'll, we'll work our way from there. Um, yeah, I think the next time we do this, I'll, we'll try to play from the PC. I can't imagine that it's going to be better like streaming performance, but you never know. Like, like load a little bit smoother or something. Hmm. Hmm. Saltuna cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. Yeah, this stuff looks dope. Like this is the kind of stuff that Nelson would definitely appreciate. I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, what's up with these? Mag pick. Bit cartridge. Are these things? No. Kind of reminds me a lot of No Man's Sky, actually. Oh, maybe we should like go over this way. I think he knows I'm here. Thank you. Okay. Time to loot. I didn't have anything. What were you doing here, buddy? Hunting rifle. There you go. That's what I need to see. Uh, unequip. Damage 53 though. That's not what I like to see. Maybe the benefit is using it from like a, uh, like a distance. Hmm. I'm just disagreeing with your thesis about Earth's directorate place in the colonial system. Okay, do you think the corporations would accept the mandated inclusion of an earth minister? Hmm. Uh, let's see. I think sorry, uh, the discovery of the skip drive was not what gave the earth directorate power over the corporations. High cost of the great war left them weakened. The great war. How late do you think you'll be playing? Uh, I'll probably be playing this for like a uh, like a few more hours, and then we'll play Call of Duty later in the evening. Uh, 
Uh, I just got the letter. Corporate ordered me to relocate the Edgewater cannery effective immediately. It's a shame. I was really looking forward to running my own gift shop and community center, selling rare memorabilia. But scripture told us all things happen for a reason. We're terrified. Okay. All uh, as for my book collection, I can't bear to part with it. I don't want these books moldering in some contraband locker. So I stashed them away in a cave near over by the river. points available oh shit okay well let's go ranged um Okay, yeah, so the the number is the base, and then the right includes any scaling from my gear, I guess. Oh, excuse me, jeez. When a human cowers. Uh, creatures become terrified and flee for 10 seconds after you kill one. Yeah, I guess we should do like the big, big blocks. Until we really... Let's see, time dilation location hits. You have unlocked location hit effects for time dilation. Hit enemies in different during TDP cripples with body parts. Try different locations to see the effects. This on the chest produce different effects when using different weapons. Cool. Um, let's see, unlock a dialogue combat skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll probably play... Uh, we'll probably be playing a lot more of this. I'll definitely play over the weekend also, which, you know, normally wouldn't do, I suppose. Okay, whatever. I don't want to... Rifle through this dude's stuff. Now that I don't need to. Wait a minute, I didn't check this guy. What about this guy? Marauder Thug. Dude, look at this, like, octagonal scope thing. Well, we found it, boys. It's the last of them. What? Oh, there was another barrel here. Trip blade. What's up with this thingy? Is this a threat? Is it just cool? Oh, I probably shouldn't touch my face to it. Oh, there's another marauder. Is that it? Nobody else? Poor guy. Just like hella assassinated that dude. God. Down they go. Oh, okay, it doesn't open the menu until combat's over, it looks like. Isn't that nice? I shot a guy over here, did I not? Oh my god, I shot him and I guess he just completely exploded. Poor guy. I don't give a fuck. That looks like a mine. Okay, hang on. 
I don't think I have any skill in dismantling this. Okay. That's fine. Pick three seconds. Trespacking, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon. Avoid being seen. You want to engage in these activities without consequences. Okay. Easy. Um, companion skill adds to your skill check, increasing the leadership skill, increasing the bonus they give. Shock cannon? I'm shocked. Energy. Shock uses T and L proprietary lock and shock technology to make sure you never wait waste a single watt. I mean shit. Oh, assault rifle. No, I'll, I'll stick with the um the rifle rifle. The rifle rifle. Hmm. I felt like this more than Fallout 4. Um, yeah. I mean, I probably will, right? Definitely want to try the PC version out though, because we can run it at a smoother frame rate. That will help me a lot. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't know that this was like a launch title on Game Pass until pretty recently. Um. But yeah, Game Pass is like is definitely a really big value. Um. And it's something that I think that Sony is very keenly aware of because. I think that they recently dropped the price for some promotion on PlayStation Now. PlayStation Now, functionally, is, like, pretty similar, but they definitely don't have it, like, they don't have the similar um, launch titles on PlayStation Now, which is one very appealing aspect of Game Pass. Oh, let's save. We gotta save before dialogue situations, right? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Crack your book right here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I. Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this French? I can't fucking read French. It's a law forsaken joke, is what it is. French! Ha! I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? Over... overreacting? Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... No. You couldn't possibly know, could you? I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Hmm. Why did you think this book held the secrets? Bokonu, the author, 
had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. The plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Hmm. If a car searching for a banned book, that's a bad example, doesn't it? The story of my life. Most lay people are not aware of this, but we've not discovered any new insights into the plan for a long, long time. The plan. I had an idea that we should welcome the truth, no matter where we found it. I had the worst idea to share my thoughts with a superior. And that's how I ended up assigned prison duty, where I was fool enough to let an inmate bend my ear with stories of an original Bokonu journal. You mentioned a philosophist. What's that? Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. But most of the philosophist perversion of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Hmm. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Oh, right. Is that all part of your Vicar training? Well... Understanding computers is, though I admit I took it further than most. And I was quite the 32nd back during my penitentiary term. <laughs> Left many an opponent bleeding in the prison yard. All right. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. Can I have two companions? Edgewater's gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery. And to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Oh. Hmm. If enemies are hostile, your reputation isn't kill on sight. Leaving for a few days will calm things down. Oh, I see that part, actually. Okay, now we're going to do the quest. Long range critical damage. Oh. I'm not sure what we're going to do. It looked like you just vaped, did it? Well, I did. <laughs> I didn't. I'm just kidding. Maybe we'll go for leadership after. Oh, I have a perk point. That's right. Okay. Maybe, um, weapon durability loss. I haven't needed to travel, but I probably will have to fast travel when encumbered at some point. This seems like a Michael should invest in this perk kind of thing. It was the kind of thing that I did in Fallout. So I should probably invest in it now. Put your hand in your mouth and your character were talking. They raised and created an appearance of smoke rising. Oh. Wow. You know me. Big vape man. Terror on Monarch. Look at this Han Solo ass lady. 
Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon Helen, Chief of the Savages. Look at my man, the Savage. I feel like Nelson will like every single one of these loading screens if he plays this game. Maybe they should have had me leave through the other door. I'm liking the, the look of the game though. It looks sharp. You, I do know it's a lot of the pop in. It's hard to miss, really. We're just going as the crow flies. Yeah, the frame rate is really choppy. I'm, I'm playing on a normal Xbox One, I should say. I smell Here they come! Yeah, a uh. I'm blind! Uh. And yeah, now he's really blind. I should probably only utilize the uh, spot base thing when I'm using the TD TDT. Oh my god. Oh my god. Really wish it. Small percentage of your weapons and armor may find considered pristine, uh, and a work order of pristine items can be identified by a diamond. Oh, okay. Yeah, the frame rate's kind of bothering me now. Where did these people come from? Did I really not notice him? Nice hit. Nice one. Ah. Oops. Yo, what about that Call of Duty though, gamers? Haha. <laughs> I can see why you never made Widowmaker on Overwatch. Yeah, I'm really bad with the sniper rifle now. All right. Call of Duty Michael uh, was was uh, uh, has come and passed. Um, the stick is really loose. I think I might need to like lower the sensitivity or something. I also feel like those dudes just appeared out of nowhere. Am I crazy? Move along, stranger. We don't want any trouble. I should say. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I know you. Hmm. I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Hmm.
I'm looking for the geothermal plant. A geo what? Look, plants ain't my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Isn't that what I led with? Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. I feel like I opened with... Okay. You and me both. I'm just trying to figure out how to repair my ship. Well, look at you. Buzzing around the Aether with your very own ship. Rest of us gotta make do with the ground at our feet. Look, I... No, I'm That's sorry. not my fault, alright? That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if Marauders got to her. Hmm. I'll keep my eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging, but that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Hale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. I'll find her. Appreciate it. Honest. Honest. I'll. Uh, I've got a question about Zoe. I'll actually, I'll tell you what I can. Even though you never said you would. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, any idea where she might be hiding? How well do you know her? Well enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. Any idea where she might be hiding? Vex me. If she told anybody, they ain't telling me. I'd check her room, but I got yelled at for snooping once already. You snooped around in her room? Little ways ago. She was always obsessing over her serial dramas. Wanted to serial see what the dramas. fuss was about. Okay, let's change the subject. What is it? I need I need to leave. So what did I get categorized as? Um, yeah, so I'm kind of happy that I didn't um, try to stream at launch because it was down. I couldn't get in, much like everybody else. And so there was like a couple hours where we were just like... Um, uh, me and my friend, uh, Karma, who we will probably play Call of Duty with later. We were just like, I don't know what we do. Because this sucks. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? Hmm. You must be Adelaide. I've been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. Tobacco. I grew it in an old spittoon, but it's been clean. She doesn't look old. Look at all the wrinkles on her face. Oh, maybe they're hard to tell from the stream. Looks like you made a home for yourself here. A home for anyone who's ever turned their backs on Edgewater. A home for those of us with nowhere left to go and nothing to lose. So like the spores of the puffball cast on the wind and alighting. These are the days soil, of our lives. We nope, wait. New roots. Why'd you leave your old home? It is an unpleasant story, dear. But the short of it is that sometimes one wakes up and realizes the place that was once her home for much of her life has changed. The home in which we spent our lives has left us behind, and so we must move on. And that is as much as I will say on the subject. Hmm. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace, then? 
Um, I wasn't really listening. <laughs> I wish I wasn't, so I'd have to answer with that. You're living off power that belongs to town. Come back to the cannery. That's about it. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. Nice. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Hmm. No, serious. I'm about. To, he mentioned a geothermal plant. He would do such a thing. The question is. Why would you agree to his plans? Hmm. Your camp is a power regulator. I needed to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Hmm. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. A hero to you, maybe. That's true. Uh, what have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Jeez. Uh... <laughs> yeah, what do you have against people trying to make a living? Okay. I'll see what I can do. I trust you will listen to your There's conscience. a bug in my face. Ah. Okay. Um, could I check out Spec Ops? Yeah. Um, I'll probably try it. Maybe. I'll, I'll do like a game or something to, to start off the, the stream. Um, Spec Ops is hard. I tried it last night and it is, I found it to be very challenging. Mostly because I just didn't know what to do. I think once it, people get a little bit more refined on, like, kind of what to do, um, then the panning is, this is as fast as the panning goes, then, then maybe it'll kind of get together more. 44, 45%. So this is pristine. How do I see what it will sell for. Oh, it sells for double, I see. Um, sure. Oh, all these swords give us weapon parts. Hell yeah, dude. I sure as fuck I'm not gonna use these. Maybe I should keep one just in case. Time to work, see ya. All right. Um, thanks for dropping by and hanging out. Uh, yeah, we should be back later this evening with some Call of Duty, so. Look forward to that. She wear out her weapons. Huh. 
When does she get perk points? Okay, yeah, I will fast travel. Let me try fast traveling to my ship. And then... It's on my ship. <laughs> yeah, fast travel to my ship and then back. So I can repair my thing. Don't beat the game in three hours by speed running the story quest. No promises. Look, I've got six days to beat it. I have to make the best of my time. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. It's not the best choice is the funniest tagline that you could probably ever have. Yeah, so I'll tinker, I'll tinker this. Oh, okay, I have to have the, the modifications. Okay, so we'll just tinker. And then repair? Maybe this is bad order of operations. Oh, maybe that's why this thing did poorly, because it wasn't repaired at all. Is it going to say how much it's been tinkered? Okay. Should I tinker my armor? to the mission. Auntie Cleo's. Better than nature. Hmm. These look cool. Candid feral? Just a candid feral over here. Probably get a lot out of searching the houses. We're streaming in the next part of the environment. Please wait. century. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Hello, are we cool? I maimed him. Don't mess with us. Okay, I guess if they have like a red bar, there will be no negotiating.
Okay, you absolutely need. So in, in place of having like a mini game. Oh my god, she's going in. And plays with having a minigun. Oh, a minigun. They're a minigame. They're just like, this is how hacking. It just costs resources to hack. Everyone all right? Okay, these are crates. I'm trying to make sure I'm acquainted with what things mean in the environment. Yeah, we're just gonna use a sniper rifle indoors, no big deal. Oh my god, it's like, is this Yogo Taro? Jesus Christ. From the planet to your living room. Hmm. Is this Mr. Spacer? Johnny Spacer? It's terrifying. The control room should be off to the right. I hope we're doing the right thing. Uh, vending machines offer a variety of purchase, mostly from one company. Hack skill of 20 allows you to sell items to the vending machine. Uh, okay. Is my hack 20? Can I sell to this vending machine? Hold to sell junk. Did I have a lot of junk? What I was promised, but I would imagine that there's some vendoring associated thing. No, it's okay. It might be more more worthwhile to just try to sell to dismantle the things for now. Got a shoulder peek, you know what I'm saying? Okay, to the right. Seems like a, a moral choice moment, right? Power plant status. <clears throat> Structural damage detected. Warning. Fail safety failure detected. High likelihood of moderate to severe structure damage. Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Power redirect is failing manual over required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Okay. I can do that. Three switches. That'll be easy enough. That will be easy enough. If I can pick something, I should pick it, right? Great work. Three ammo. All right. Passcode required. All right. Um, just found the fiddling around in the mechanical, so I had to write them up for them. And just in case I'm reading this a couple of days, I feel bad for what I just reminded myself that I warned him. 
He's always been a little crooked. Uh, I was working on some logic module. A confiscator should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. Uh, it doesn't sit right. The company is replacing it. Uh, company uh, program. Uh, auto mechanical. Uh, okay. Chemical's going crazy. I like myself. Just trying to gather my courage. Going to make a mad dash for the control room. And be able to shut things down. Be able to delete this entry if I return. Mm. It's an automated message initiated by spacer choice worker safety protocols with security lockdown. Uh, uh, none of these appear to be a security code. Oh. Space bar Thompson. Okay. Sounds so surprised. Okay. Plant worker. Just two more. What'll happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Vale? Bad things, probably. Get away! What? No, 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 just leave me alone. Mind the steam. You're liable to get scalded. to reload help me everyone all right okay use terminal shut off release valves done engineering used Yeah, I think this is the kind of thing where, like, in Fallout, it was, like, on a chance that it could happen sometimes. And now it's just like, yeah, whatever. Like, just, you know what's going on. Dude, this thing breaks fast.
to go. Oh, I guess that's like a thing you can if utilize if you're trying to go for. Miss McDevitt, what happens to the veil? I'm kind of curious to see the implications of this because I'm probably just going to give the power to the geothermal plant, but I haven't really, really thought about the long term, like the immediate retribution that will probably happen, right? Last. I'm not sure what the ride is. All I know is the decision's final. Light machine gun. Chester's passcode. Hmm. Okay. It's clearly the way they want us to go. Though. Are we back at the beginning? Yes. Okay. What? What are all these noises? Okay. Yeah. We're probably just gonna. I don't know that there's much thought on Once my we part. do this, there's no going back. There's apparently no going back. Save. Excuse me, ma'am. Look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you. Do you understand what you're about to do? Um I wouldn't mind hearing your opinion. I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry. That just sort of came out all at once. Edwater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's mm. barely enough Saltuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. They don't deserve to be punished. Yeah, but what about everybody else? The deserters are a community? Hmm. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just... I felt like I had to say something. Huh. I was barely listening. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. I wonder if she's going to really dislike that I'm about to... Uh... All right, let's save again. Redirect power to the botanical laboratory.
Now some bad things are going to happen as a result, right? God, this moon dude is freaking me the fuck out. Look at this middle one. He's just like fucking staring at me, dude. I can't, I can't take that. Fence off. Hmm. Pop that right. Reed Thompson. Wait a minute. What is it taking me on? Reed must be furious. He may be a little peeved by my choice. God, are you kidding? <laughs> How do we make it so people don't make ridiculous videos of scaling a mountain? We'll just make it so the uh, mountains are not as steep. So it makes sense that you're running up them. All right. Let's see what's good. Faux windows. Hmm. Yeah, I can't wait for Nelson to play this and then just screenshot every single one of these. I don't know that he he played any of the previous Fallout games. Like I don't I don't know what his opinion on them on it on on them at all is. gets my bile churning. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters, plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Hmm. It's not personal. I need your power regulator. That power regulator is company property. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. I don't want your guards bleeding on my power regulator. All right, easy now. Let's not do anything we'll regret. I'll order my guards to stand down. Take what you came for and then leave us be. Okay. I don't feel great about that. Stand down, all of you. We're done here. I can't stop thinking on Edgewater, Captain. Oh my god. I'm glad the deserters are gonna be alright now they got power, but what about the town? All those people. We'll talk later. Oh, skill points available. Cool. Okay.
Yeah, maybe we'll go with uh, inspiration. Uh, yeah, we'll do this, and then we'll start leveling up the individual things in persuade. Oh, I, I think I need to put the more points in here so that we get these up to 50 also. Hmm. You can command your ability to use your special ability by on the enemy you're targeting. Companion 1, Companion 2. Okay. Yeah, let me see what you got. Parvati. Chance to extract a mod in the field. They heal back some of the health and continue fighting. Okay. So I, I guess the only th th problem that I might have with giving them more threat generation is... Uh, I feel like she's just going to die. Her in particular. Without anything that passively regens her health, I guess. I don't know what would really give her that. I think this is now just going back to my ship. There's a cantina here I didn't even visit. I'm good at gaming. Yeah, I wonder if everything is going to be like this straightforward. Hmm. Skin cream. You thought you could just walk out of our town? I'm going to kill you now. Do we think that's not going to happen? I feel like that's what we're leading up to. Uh, okay, just kidding. Time to run back to our ship. I used to skip rocks in the river to Constable Reyes ticketed me for unlicensed terraforming. Unlicensed terraforming. She don't know how to skip rocks her own self. I did not go as the crow flies. When we initially made our way here. Oh, it's because I couldn't. Look at that. Yeah, when I turn really fast, there's a lot of frame rate issues. And I'm not really quite sure if I can do anything about that. Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Listen to me babbling. When I was in Edgewater, I dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. She doesn't have a name yet, though, I don't think. Edgewater won't last another season without power, but that don't change the fact that I'm indentured to Spacer's Choice. Company expects me back at my post. Those deserters left Edgewater behind. Nothing keeping you from doing the same. I have imagined it, but until you came along, I never thought I had the choice. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? I could tend to your engine. Who would say no at this my point? Catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. What do you think? Why would I want to go in space with a stranger? Goodbye? 
Who would pick that? Oh my gosh. Yes. I mean, uh, thanks. You won't regret this, ma'am. Captain. I can call you Captain now. Ha! <laughs> I got a captain. Just immediately get shot. Well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreal. Oh, that's right. It does have a name. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Actually, wait. How do I see what her uh, Parvati's abilities are? Parvati. They're just nowhere. Overload. What does that do? Um, slams are hammered down and blasts are socks auto mechanicals. Knock out the target to the ground, running them in a few seconds, stuns the target, leaving them. Shocks enemies and knocks down auto mechanicals. Okay. Well, that just seems good. Something you need? We'll talk later. We'll talk later. This is Jimmy. We'll talk later. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Oh. What can I do for you, Captain? I installed the power regulator. All systems are operating within acceptable parameters. I am prepared to bring the unreliable into low altitude orbit. This should prove an adequate test of our flight capabilities. Hell yeah, it should. Let's get out of here. You know, I didn't do any follow up with the follow up with the people at the chemical plant. I'm sure they're fine, right? To infinity. And beyond! The unreliable takes flight. Dude, everything about this treatment is quite good, I think. Hmm. Yeah, let me tweet at Nelson. a communication request from Dr. Phineas Wells. Oh, good. I've been waiting to hear from him. Ah, there you are. Hale and hearty and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Um, I've been feeling a little lightheaded. Also, I can slow down time. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Okay. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the Groundbreaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Bob 
Fine, I'll go have a word with Gladys. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're I'll coming. send her a wireless. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting edge technology years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it Holographic in the Shroud, quarters. huh? I'll put it to good use, thanks. Wait, oh yeah, explain what it is. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. Hmm. You mentioned it has limitations. Only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Hmm. I'll put it to use, thanks. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power, but it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal. Oh, I need a minute. Got it. Is this the navigation terminal? Ter ter terminal? Term terminal? Uh... Hell yeah. You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. Bin. Hog after shy protection disguising your companions gives you access to restricted areas provided you have the correct ID and cartridge for that area. Restricted areas off limits to unauthorized personnel and otherwise results in being attacked on site. Yeah. Why don't they try to stop me? All right, fine. Uh, oh. used to be more dashing. Wow. Oh, I have skill points. All right. Five previous perks. Okay. Maybe walking speed first? Then sprinting speed? I wonder if they stack. Oh, durability loss. Yeah, my, my rifle is hurting still, right? I wonder if we can talk now. You'll only have six, com five companions. A stern older man with warm eyes. I wonder if they get pissed when you take their stuff. What are you doing? Well, modified tools and unique mechanical usages. Uh, digging around in here would be an easy way to lose a finger to a sawtooth blade. First wrench dad ever gave me. She's been a friend ever since. I don't think I have anything like that. This book is heavily do dog-eared with doodles in the margins. Huh. 
Well, ain't that fun. Spacer's choice. Did she bring that? Where are you? I've adjusted the spice containers to optimize the flow. I don't want to talk to you. I'll repair my thing here. Um, I should see what stat is associated with, uh, like, repairing this kind of thing. With repairing and tinkering. I'll tinker again. Don't think I won't. What else am I going to use the bits for? Car Max. Hmm. Engineering. Okay. Oh, okay, I see. It just improves your armor and... Okay, no, I can do... Tinkering cost minus 50. Tinkering cost for science weapon is capped. Further reduce tinkering cost to minus 90%. Wow, that seems good. Seems really good. Where is... Where are you? Okay, that's okay. I'm sure if we'll talk, she'll say something, right? Hmm. 